Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. So today we're going to have a look at this. This is the iFlight Chimera 7 inch LR. There's two different versions you can get. You can get a cruiser. I can't remember what the other one's called. This is the cruiser version. So it's got slightly higher KV motors. Gives it a bit more punch. Um, but very much still, this is a cruising machine. It's not something that uh, you can... You can throw it about, but it's definitely made for cruising. So we'll take a look at that. You can see it's a bit big for the bench, but let's have a look at it anyway. I'll turn it round so you can see better things. So this obviously comes, this is the DJI version. You can buy it with a non-DJI, you can buy it with analog, but I have gone for the DJI version, which obviously has an air unit inside it. So it comes complete with the air unit. It also comes with GPS out of the box. Um, it comes with a, I believe, S7 flight controller. As you can see, it comes with a uh, normal camera. It comes with this mount for a GoPro, but it doesn't come with this Hero, Go, the Hero 8 case. This is actually something I bought separately, which is an absolute rip-off. I think it's 25 quid. So I'm flying this at the minute with a 2200 6S, but this is a 100C battery. You don't need that kind of power. A 40, 50cc, a 50cc, a 40 or 50c LiPo will do you absolutely fine. And I've flown this with a 1500 and flight times. It is very a lot. I flew this eight minutes the last time I flew this. You'll see the flight footage after this video, not the entire eight minutes, but you'll see what it looks like through the GoPro and I think it looks amazing. It's very, very stable in flight. And considering this thing weighs 900 grams, when you bring this thing, so I was flying up at 120 meters or so, maybe 100 meters, and when I brought it down and let go of the throttle, you'd expect it to drop dramatically, it doesn't. And that's probably because the air's getting under the props and it keeps it up there and it's very, very smooth. So you can, I let it hover in the air for a few times so I could adjust my goggles and get more comfortable. It really is that nice to fly. They've got this one absolutely spot on. So this one comes with the Zing motors. Now these are Zing E motors, these are the Zing. So this is their more expensive range if you like. And this is 36, sorry, yeah, is it? Hang on, maybe you can read that better than I can with my eyes. I think they are, yeah, 36 or 6.5 motors. And these are the 1800kV, I think the 1100kV on the other one, um, this has got 1800 flies, and as I say, it flies really, really nice, it sounds, it doesn't sound that aggressive when it's in the air, as you think it might, and it's certainly the best 7 inch I've flown out of a box, the tune seems to be very, very close to being there, it flies, oh, I think it flies more like a 5 inch, to be honest, in, when you get it up in the air, and I mean by that, 7 inches are tend to be twitching, they don't tend to have a nice flight characteristic because of the 5, and that's mainly because beta flights obviously head up for 5 inch and not 7. So I actually found this a joy. It's easy to set up out of the box. It's simply a matter of binding it. I have to say, I've, the pids are exactly the same. I set the switches up so they do what I want to do, which is give it a beeper. Uh, the three mode, flight modes on the control. And then and the only thing I've done other than that is obviously give it an arm switch. Apart from that, it's set up. It has on auxiliary four on mine. I have GPS rescue set up. And I have my GPS rescue set up that way so i've got it on a switch it's also set up on mine on a fail safe so if you go into the fail t fail safe tabs on uh beta flight i believe if you're new to this they're under the advanced section go into fail safe and it's probably going to be set out of the box to drop because i think it does you want to change that to return to home and you want to make sure you've got it at the desired height you want now it's up to you whether you do that. I set mine to that because I know this is rock solid and I know that there is problems. I've got a video of the Flywheel Explorer coming up that you'll see, which has got no end of issues with it. And that's why you won't see an actual Flywheel Explorer video. It's because I've absolutely cannibalised mine and turned it into someone else, something else, which has made it absolutely perfect now. But if you set this that way, it's going to be turned to home. But remember, when it does come back to home, if it's lost, it's got a fail safe. It won't come back and land. It's not a DJI model. It's going to come back and fly in the vicinity of you and circle above you. Above you. That's what it's going to do. I have tested the return to home out briefly, and it seemed to do exactly what it said on the tin. Because obviously, I've got mine on auxiliary four as well, so I can hit the switch if I want to do. In the goggle view, you've got 
your normal you've got altitude and um distant from home and you've got your latitude and longitude you've got your return to home icon so you've got quite a lot of things you can see i can't show you that obviously unfortunately because if you know the dji goggles all the output is the video footage you don't actually get to see what i see you get the video footage i see but not that these are not the original props it come it came with i just put these on because i like the red props but these are exactly the same as a black prop they come with black i had a set of red so i put red on it it comes with two sets of black props it comes with three battery straps i believe i've got two on here and i've got another one that's a spare and oh, i don't think it's got no nothing else came in the box i don't think some stickers obviously some high flight stickers but that's basically put your props on it took me 10 minutes to get it in the air virtually to sit so to take off it will if you've got it set on fail safe mode you'll also have a little tab there that will say do not take off unless you have satellites you can switch that off if you do switch that off fail safe and you return to home will not be set because what they're looking for before you set off is a is your home point once it's got enough satellites it locks your home point in so it knows where you are I do not recommend turning that off unless you're very experienced and you don't want to use GPS. But if you want to do that, you'll just take the GPS unit off the back of the quad. I tend to have it on. I'm just more than happy to wait another 10 seconds. It does lock quick. This is running at, I can get 16 to 18 satellites on this relatively quickly. I certainly get up to 10 within the first 10, 10, 20, 10, 15 seconds. I mean, I'm up in the air within 30. So it's not that long to wait. You do get the antennas, the extra length antennas. They come with this. Uh, they come in the box you've just got to fit them and it obviously the idea with that is to get these nice and high up above the battery you, I think when the, in the early days the DJI systems used to come off legs and all sorts of stuff and it's been found that they're not right here I'm thinking of the D, um, Mr Croc here which has them coming off the legs here it's not the best idea in the world so what I'm going to do now is leave you with some flight footage it's recorded from the GoPro I cannot remember if I recorded from the air unit or not, but if I did, I'll certainly put that on the screen as well. So thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. And most of all, stay safe. Thank you.